Hello my friends, welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Empyrean Galactic Survival, Perilous 3D here. And I've made an interesting discovery here between episodes. I've actually discovered that um, Aestus is not really that bad of a planet. It's not as hostile as I thought it was. I mean, yes, there's POIs here, yes, there are drones. But it's actually, if you put the whole lava planet and unbreathable atmosphere aside, it's actually a quite remarkable, enjoyable planet. And I'll show you what I mean here. I found a nice little spot that I've doubled back again on my idea, and I'm going to set up camp here. And I think you'll start to understand why as I get closer to this place. The gravity is a little bit different here, I think, as well. A little bit stronger. But um, it's not enough to make a huge difference. And the enemies, I notice once you get up here in the mountains with all these geysers and rock formations, um, they're very thin. I haven't seen one actually since I've been up here. So that's definitely a good thing. And on top of that, there are crystals. And another bonus. Oh, there's actually some down there, but see there's none towards the top. The other bonus is right beside this place where I want to set up camp on this planet are two arrestrum deposits right next to each other. So how cool is that? Next time I come here, I'm going to bring back, well from uh, Aqua that is, I'm going to bring back another auto mining drone and I'm going to slap it down on this other deposit. And then any time we want to come and farm some arrestrum, we can just come to this base and we'll be nice and comfortable. Oh, look, I lied. There's actually an enemy right there. The CV has found it. That's all right. It'll take care of it for me. But the enemies are really few and far between up here, which is great. Okay, so actually, I don't want to be too far away from where I plan to set up here. So I can transfer things over if I need to. But this is kind of a stop um, to Ningus. I definitely want to go there and set up that, well... I need to do some R&D and, and figure out if more crystals drop in a smaller area, and therefore it would be more worth farming up a whole bunch of them at the same time. But as far as this planet goes, I thought it would be harder to find crystals than what it is, but you just go up on these little mountains here, and there's plenty of it. And what I really like is this view, you know, which I'll show you here in a moment. you got a, a nice view of a lava lake, and... Uh, the, the purple, light purple hue of this planet in this particular area is kind of cool. Plus all the geysers and stuff, it's uh, it's quite the view here, which I'll, I'll show you here in just a moment. We can just park a little bit closer. There we go. Serenity has taken a little bit of a beating from the locals, but Ever since I killed off those drones, I haven't seen anything other than just land-dwelling enemies, so definitely good news there. My hummingbird is stuck in repair mode for some reason. Might as well take it out of there. Whoa. But yeah, things are looking up. Sometimes, it, you know, these things can surprise you how... You might think, oh no, I would never build a base there, and then lo and behold, it's the perfect base location. Well, not perfect, but I mean, two restroom deposits, crystals, a nice view. I mean, check this out. Pretty cool, right? And then even on the other side, I know that my ship's in the way, but got a nice little view off to that direction as well. So, I don't know. This, pl this place just, when I saw the, the purple and the brightness of it, I thought it was going to be all dark skies, which it is. Dark skies and lava and stuff, but here's kind of like a nice middle ground, and I like it. I'm going to set up a little temporary base here. So we're doing like sub-base creations at this point. <laughs> I'm setting up my Oscatoon base while also setting up an Aestus base, and then also setting up a, uh, another sub-base um, on Ningus. So it's all base creation right now. I was saying a few episodes ago. Alright, so I want to set up next to this little monolith thing here, or whatever you want to call it. So maybe like right about there. A little overhang. Yeah. I'm happy with it. 
The other thing is I'll be able to farm crystals if I'm not doing a huge amount of them. Um, I might be able to come here and just farm, farm some crystals because they are they do drop two at a time and they're somewhat plentiful. Maybe not like Ningus, but that remains to be seen. You know, and this particular base doesn't need to be fancy. It just needs to be functional because we're not going to be spending a lot of time here realistically. Uh, there's no breathable atmosphere. I know I keep going back to that, but it's true. It's just one less um, of, of your health bars that you have to worry about. And, you know, as much as the view is nice, there don't seem to be a whole lot of POIs. I mean, maybe there are, and I just haven't discovered them yet. I haven't really been around here. I'm sure there are, and maybe they're super difficult, which will make it fun and worthwhile. I don't know. It all remains to be seen, my friends, but base building is what's in order, and I think what I'll do is, I've just been on such a music kick lately, I'm going to keep that going, that theme, and uh, please enjoy a video montage of me building the rest of this Aestus base and getting it set up here. And then, um, yeah, we'll catch you next time on the next episode for a continuation of this. I'll probably have enough crystals to go back. I might be back already by then. I don't know. And I'll be on track to farm up a whole bunch of Arrestrum and some crystals as well. And then we'll be in really good shape. If we can fill up our cargo boxes full of each element and have a constant supply of things coming in or whenever we need it, I mean... You basically conquered the game because then you can travel anywhere you want, anytime you want. Crystals is one thing we're um, pentaxid. We're going to have to figure out some way. I don't know if you can farm them up with an HV or another vehicle, but doing it by hand is really time consuming and tedious. So either one huge farming session is in order, or perhaps there's another way of doing it uh, automated. But who knows? We'll figure all that out another day. For now, it's time to build this base and get set up. I can't thank you enough for stopping in. We always have such a good time. I do anyway. And please join me again next time when we'll continue this fun in another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. Until then, my friends, bye-bye.